Hey everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a gear review on the Cast Boost Softshell Jacket and I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So stay tuned. Also at the end of the video I'm actually going to do a water test where I'm going to fill up the hood, I'm going to see how well it repels water, see if the water leaks at the seams, and see how resistant the material actually is. So you're going to want to see that, wait till the end of the video. Disclaimer, this is not a paid advertisement. This is not a paid review. I actually am a cast pro. I received some, some gear as part of a sponsorship, but at the same time, I've decided to do these gear reviews independent of cast. And so if I think this jacket is a piece of crap, I'm gonna let you know it's a piece of crap. If I love the jacket, I'll let you know. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So I'm gonna get right into it. So the Cast Boost Soft Shell has a price tag right now of $250. Um, it's a very high-end, high-quality soft shell jacket. I actually have a 20% off discount code for Cast Gear website. So if you go there and you're checking out, you decide to buy this jacket, you decide to buy something else, 20% off with the code Wild Trout, and that's down in the description. So the Cast Boost Soft Shell um, comes in three colors. It comes in two-tone gray, green and gray, or blue and gray. This is actually my personal jacket that I've been using for months. Go ahead and take the jacket and slip it on so you can see kind of how it fits. Really nice, nice fitting jacket. Um, I'm going to suggest to you if you decide to get this jacket, you're looking for, you wear a large t-shirt size, just get a large jacket. Don't bump up in sizes because of wanting extra space. It comes um, already kind of pre-fit like you'd already have this as a second or third layer. Um, it does fit nice. You can see this is pretty much, besides the t-shirt, this is my first layer and it's a pretty good fit. But at the same time, I do have a lot of room. I can throw a hoodie on, I can throw a fleece on underneath it and it still fits really well. The actual jacket itself is made out of 95% polyester and 5% spandex, which is nice. It gives me a little bit of stretch in the arms, shoulders, a little bit of movement. Uh, it's really nice for having that little bit of extra mobility that some soft shells actually don't come with. Um, so the inside of the jacket is 100% polyester. There's cuffs inside the sleeves that you can pull out and there's a little slit for your thumb. Um, and they're really nice for being able to put gloves on, have a little bit of extra warmth. Um, and it's made out of 100% polyurethane on these cuffs. So really nice material jacket. They put a lot of thought into it. I really like the really big pockets, chest pockets right here. They go all the way underneath the armpit. Um, there's a lot of room right here. So you stick your phone in here a lot of times, stick your wallet in there. It's also got uh, the side arm pocket on the left arm here. Go ahead and stick your fishing license in here, your phone in here, other things like that. So that's a nice pocket. Um, the last pair of pockets they have are just the regular pockets down low. It's got a little bit of that water wicking kind of polyester. It's, it's really soft and comfy in here. Um, but at the same time, say it's a little breezy out, it's a little rainy out, uh, you stick your hand in your pocket. It's gonna help wick some of that water away from your hands, keep your hands a little bit warmer. Um, and they're really big. You fit a lot of stuff in these pockets. They go all the way up to the seam right here and uh, just a lot of space uh, for storage in these lower pockets. Two of the other big features about this jacket is the, the drawstrings here. So you can tighten uh, the hood right around the neck. You can also tighten the jacket down at the bottom um, on both sides. And there's a string up here to tighten around the hood. And then there's also um, on the hood right here, lift this up and there's another one right here. You can cinch down around your hat uh, in windy conditions. So that's also really nice. One of the last features about the Cast Boost jacket that I really like is the size of the hood. Um, you go ahead and take the hood and see it's got a lot of room in here. If I had, you know, two or three other jackets underneath, it's really cold out, it's really windy. Um, I can fit two hoodies underneath and still have plenty of room. Um, I'm going to go ahead and zip it up all the way. So you can see I've got room in my neck and I've got room in the hood for other layers and also has really good 
movement of this hood. Um, it's not super tight fitting. That's one of my favorite features about this jacket actually is the size of the hood. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the water test. You guys can see how well it retains water. Remember if you decide to buy this jacket, there's a code in the description. You get 20% off of your order. The code is wild trout. Also leave your comments. Let me know what you thought if you own the jacket. If you decide to buy it, let me know if you like it. Um, remember to subscribe and like this video um, and let me know what you think. Thanks guys. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, see how much uh, this, this holds. Um, the hood is the same material as the rest of the body, so uh, there's a nice little pocket here. I'm going to fill it up with water and see how long it will retain water and see if it will leak. So, get the water flowing. And you can see, I'll turn it off here, you can see it is not leaking at all right now. We're starting to get a couple drips from, just right from the, uh, the seams. Um, the seams are not waterproof. The material itself is, uh, is very, very water resistant, but you can tell, you know, we're, we're starting to leak now. Um, and that would be comparable to a very heavy rain or a very heavy snow. And we're getting a little bit of leakage here but once again I've got you know a lot of water in here um, the nice thing about these jackets too is even though this material um, holds a lot of water on the inside this polyester material it's very fast drying you hang it up to dry you put it on the defrost in the window and uh, it's good as new in 15 20 minutes so um, not completely waterproof as you can see uh, there was leakage all along the seams I kind of got it wet when I dumped the water out so as far as this being a uh, jacket that you would buy to be an outer shell rain jacket uh, I would not suggest it um, cast does not sell this as a rain jacket or a water protecting layer it is a wind protecting layer it is weather resistant and by that I mean a light snow um, heavy breeze. I fished in this in 40, 50 mile an hour wind and it really really is a good wind stopper. Uh, it's a very comfortable jacket and it's a very um, soft cozy jacket and it fits other layers very well. So as far as a, a weather resistant jacket I would suggest this. If you're in the market looking for a rain jacket, something 100% waterproof, this is probably not the way to go but it's not supposed to be their um, their rain jacket series. It's not supposed to be a waiting jacket. I'm, I'm gonna give this uh, five stars. I really like the Cast Boost jacket. Really nice overall quality. Thanks guys, see you next time.